But I, I remember she told me this whole story, how it went down to me, and I said to her at the end, I said, I can't believe you're attacked three weeks ago by wild dogs. You're only phoning me now. And she said, well, you can't, what are you going to do, fly down there? And I thought, there's got to be a song in this, you know. And she'd been on my case for quite a while because I'd written songs for my, you know, my wife and friends of mine, my daughter. Mom never got a song, right? <laughs> Mom was the one who paid for the guitar lessons and drove me to hockey and, you know, all the stuff, right? She's the one that was there. She said, where's my damn song? So I thought, at this juncture, this was a perfect opportunity. I was working on this instrumental piece, which kind of had a little bouncy section to it, which would be, you know, walk along, and then it gets kind of moody and dark, and that would be when the dogs appeared. And I thought, what am I going to call this thing? Well, I, could, I could call it, I can't believe you were attacked by wild dogs and they'd phone me right away. That seemed a little long, so I just... It's called Dog Bite. <laughs> 